Hey, family. Hey. It is the, what is it, the 18th, 19th, 20th? Which day is it? Damn. It's the 19th of March. It's 2.28 in the p.m. Today is Saturday, and I came on to do my spin on the season of the Atlanta Housewives. Now, I just watched the last episode. Um, I had it saved, and I finally watched it. Now, I know tomorrow is the um, first of the reunion shows, and I'm kind of looking forward to that. But um, I don't do commentaries every week, and especially for this show. Um, I really, really dig it. I enjoyed the season, but I just kind of want to talk a little bit about this really quick, and then I'm certain probably now, next week when I get back from my trip, um, or maybe I'll tape it before I go. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I'll talk about the reunion. I want to talk about the reunion because it seems like it's going to be kind of hot. So, but I kind of wanted to recap on the season this year and kind of give my spin on it and my predictions on what I think or what I would hope to see on the next season. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk about each lady and, you know, a little bit of, you know, what happened in season and like that. Okay, that's how I'm going to do mine. Can I do it how I do mine? Okay, let me do it how I do mine. Well, first, let me start with Candy. Let me say, Candy, oh my God, congratulations to the new baby, to the new addition to your family. Um, I really enjoyed you on the show, even though um, you weren't um, um, focused on so much on the, so, on the show this season. And that is why my hope is that they will bring you back for yet another, which I'm certain you have because they will because it seemed like you're a little staple with True Entertainment and with Bravo, and you've had your share of spinoffs and such. And with the restaurant coming, the baby, and all that other kind of stuff, girl, I can see them re-bringing you back to redo. We got to have you back for the simple fact that now it's other stuff that um, can spin off into other things. Of course, it got us as onlookers and watchers eager to know the more of your story. I think that you are a really, really, really good sister. I like to I like your get down. I like your, your work ethic. I also like your girl code. And you know what I'm saying? And I I just like your whole get down. I like the way you run your business, the way you run your shop. I like the way you took care of your business. You know what I mean? You bought your house, you fixed it up and you made that your home and then hell later on now you got you your second spot. I ain't mad at none of that. The way you do your business, girl, is real cool. I like your get down, and I like to see you more so on next season of Atlanta Housewives. So I just wish you all the best. Now, Miss Kenya, though, I'm going to ask that now you've done all that you can do on the show, mama. This last little incident of pulling out that chair and all that shit, that was so, oh, my God. The wrong one would have whooped your ass. Okay, now in the beginning it showed when you had went trying to talk and get up with your mom and them and how that worked out. And you gained a lot of sympathy from a lot of us and it kind of gave us, um, you know, rhyme and reason as to why you are the way that you are. And, you know, I, I, I like you. I kind of like the way you play the game, but to the degree that you play it, to, it make you look ugly and I don't like it anymore. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not on your team anymore on the way you've been doing business. That pulling out that chair shit was tacky as a motherfucker and a bitch like me would have whooped your ass. I mean the way Kim handled that, superb. But you, my dear, mama is over with Sirenara. Go ahead on and take your little young boy and, I mean, I don't want to call him no young boy or young man or whatever. He's 28. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know none of that. But, hey, if it works for you, it works for me. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, we're the same age. Personally, I don't even see what kind of conversation I could have. You know, it seems like we're on two different steps. On two different stages in life. He he seemed like he trying to get on and trying to get up and trying to get him an extra spot. He already trying to, you know, map out where he going to park his shit at. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, mama. You might want to, you know what I'm saying, looking at it a little further. Enjoy them dogs, though. I ain't mad at that. That little right there, that was cool. Or was that some shit that you paid for and he just went and did the pickup? I don't know. But, mama, that right there, I don't know if you really want to, you know, because his respect to me was kind of... You know, I understand Peter and them are his, but they're like his elders, you know what I mean? And some of that shit, you know, I don't know. 
So, mama, but now, I, I, I say that, uh, you know, it, it has run its course with um, Miss Kenya Moore, I think. And um, I would like to just see you do some other things. If you working behind the scenes, working on shows, whatever, do that. But on this right here, I think it has seen its, its better days. Now, another one that I have have to say that it's time for her to go ahead on and move on, and that will be Miss Portia. Miss Portia, look, you are a very beautiful uh, young lady. Well, be, we're a beautiful lady because you're fully grown. It just some your mentality, like they say, it's not the age; it's the stage. It just seems like you kind of twenty two, twenty three. You know, I just put you in that mindset, even though you're probably deep in your 30s. But, you know, it just, I don't know. I just equate you to being, you know, Karuchi or somebody. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just put you there. But everybody see your body. Everybody sees that you're very beautiful. You got a nice going on hairline. I don't know how it's going, but apparently, you know what I'm saying, you're one of your biggest customers, and I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? You're very, very beautiful girl, beautiful teeth. I like the little nose thing you got going on, all that. All that's cool, mama. But, um, I, goodbye. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't want to be like um, Wendy and be fucking up people's money. You know what I mean? Or, you know, uh, everybody vote and see if you watch it again. I don't want to be one of them motherfuckers. But I don't see where the show can go anywhere extra with you. It's like okay, this last season they was like okay, well let's let's see what we gonna what she's gonna do with her single life, and it's shown that you could be the most beautiful woman in the world, but if you ain't you know all the way up, you know what I'm saying, on a certain level up here, a man can only go a certain way with you. They want to feel safe. They want to feel like you got them. They not only want to see the fact that you're beautiful, but they also want to see the fact that you got your own mind. You can make some real cool ass business decisions, you know, and. The fact that, you know, my mom and them will be able to get down with you, that you can cook and that you could do all these different things, you know. Not the fact that you could just shake your ass. After a certain age group, you got to find you a cold-ass motherfucking two-step to do because you can't shake your ass on everything. You know what I'm saying? You got to find something else that you can be able to do other than that right there. Now, I don't mean to come on here and be disrespectful or none of that kind of shit because I don't want to be. But like I tell a lot of these young ladies, you know, and again, once again, I want to put you young, but you're not that young. But mama, get your motherfucking money and buy you a spot that you can take care of the rest of your motherfucking life like everybody else that I talk to. I'm going to need you to get your shit together now, you know, because and therefore this right here about to run out. You know, you still got the radio show and whatever else you got going on. But, Mama, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to really keep you back. Because for what? Like, for what reason? I mean, what's your storyline? Okay, you got old boy Enrique. I don't know how that's going. But on Dish Nation last week, you talking about you was getting ready to do something with somebody else. So, then therefore, whatever your get down is, that's all good. Enjoy your shit, Mama. But goodbye on this right here. I just don't see it no more. You're not a housewife. Okay? So, goodbye. Um, Now, Sheree... Um, I can see them, you know, building something with you. I really enjoy your get down. I love the fact that you're coming back in. You know, we have seen the Chateau of Charade. We've seen how this is going. I understand the process. So, you know, I can't tell you when your shit need to be done. Because I know how, how this shit go. I'm still working on my shit. And my shit ain't even on that level, you know. So, I know how all that go. So, but it's good to see that you well, you looking damn good, you coming in there with sister cold, like, look, I'm not finna let y'all motherfucking two-faced ass bitches get ready to do this right here, no, I'm finna tell Kim what's happening, that was some grown woman shit, and I like your get down, I like the fact that, you know what, look, check this out, my son is 19, my daughter stay doing this, and I'm doing this, I'm looking good, I'm working on me, moonlighting back with my ex-husband, because that's some safe dick, you know what I mean, that's some shit that I know something about. I ain't mad at none of that, girl. I see them continuing on with you on the show. Hell yeah. I think that's bringing it into some more classiness. You know what I mean? Some more classiness. And yes, you was once a housewife. You already got a little action with the show. Yeah. Work with um, Sheree. Please keep Sheree on the show. Yeah. Yeah, girl. And then plus you showing, because all of us are around the same age groups. And so you're showing 
that we can be without all the makeup, we can be flawless, we can be in shape, you know what I'm saying, plus taking care of our business and taking care of our kids, plus got a nigga on the side, man, if you don't do this, y'all better stick with Sheree, this is what's happening right now. Plus, uh, to my understanding, I think you might be a Capricorn. I don't know. I can just see that about you. Yeah, keep Sheree on the show. But roll this up into Miss Nene, bridge bitch. Um, goodbye. Um, that's it. Goodbye. G uh, Nene, um, I really believe that the show have done all they can with you. You done got a wedding and shit out the deal. You done got dominoes in your mouth. You done got all this shit. You done got boob jobs and all this kind of... You done milked them motherfuckers for all they're worth. And I am not mad at the way you got down with it. It done rolled over to all kind of dance with the stars and all this. And, you, you know, you're fired and all that other kind of shit. It rolled into all kinds of things for you. Now it's time to get up off of this one right here, though, because, mama, it's like you come in like you the bitch, the head bitch. You're not. You're not. I mean, come on now. I mean, yeah, I do like you a great deal. I do. But, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be like, you know, coming in trying to talk about motherfucker. Cause that, I don't want to do that either. But, mama, please understand, aren't you from some part of Georgia somewhere, backwoods something? You were doing a pole thing. This nigga right here was selling used cars and, you know what I'm saying, do, you know, on some white-collar crime shit, pushing paper and shit, I mean, but now, all of a sudden, now, it's like, y'all coming in like, y'all the first, you know what I'm saying, the president and the first lady, I mean, come on now, for real, um, it's gonna be a no on all that, um, bravo, true entertainment, you done done all you could do with Miss Nene Leakes, now, I like her, she done made her money and all that other kind of stuff, but now it's time for you to make sure whatever you got, whatever you spent all that rich money on, make sure all that shit is yours now, and therefore you ain't got no backdraft on no outstanding motherfucking payments, because I think your shit is kind of wearing out, real shit, <laughs> I think it's called goodbye, okay, next, Miss Kim Fields, oh my God, you are the epitome of a strong black mama, you are the epitome of a working black woman, you are the epitome of a beautiful wife, and a woman of strong character and integrity, I am not mad at Kim Fields, let's start moving, and you are a housewife, let's start building this shit around Kim please, she has a background in the entertainment business. She's already then been then done that on acting and all that. Plus work behind the scenes on great. Bravo. I think we're on to something. We are on to something. Let's start working this shit around. This let's start, okay, coming back off of Nene Leaks and start moving on to Kim Fields because and now she's going on to dancing with the stars, which you got a one up on that. Your husband is already cold with his feet. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, boom, you got extra help at the house. Girl, you showed us what it was on what a mother really does when, you know, because I didn't understand why Phaedra had her kids there. I really did because they don't understand. Though I understand that, you know, she wanted to let it be known that, you know, I'm, you know, single mother of the year and I'm still doing this and I'm putting my sons in the best of light. I got that, Phaedra. I got it. But it's certain places that kids don't need to be. You know what I mean? And Million Man March and all this other kind of stuff. Woman with the hat. I don't think they needed to be there really either. I really don't. But I understand what you, you know, want to let it be known. that Hey, I'm raising two soldiers. I'm raising two young men. I got to put it out there. That I'm putting them in the best of light. I got it. Um, But yeah, I'm in a minute. But Kim, girl, I just adore you. I love your spirit. I love the way you get down. I love your repertoire between you and your husband. You are a housewife, and that is where the show needs to go. You're bringing some class back on how motherfuckers really supposed to hang and get down with one another. You're showing that you don't need all this makeup. You don't need all of this stuff. You know, just, you know what I'm saying? Just have fun and just get down with it. Kim, yes. Uh, give her her peach, please. Yes, give give Kim her peach. Now, but we're going to talk about Miss Phaedra, though. Miss Phaedra, I think you should stay on the goddamn show. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because you're bringing in um, Black Lives Matter, and you're bringing in all this activist, and you're bringing in this single parent thing that wasn't you. It wasn't by choice. Okay, you showed a little messiness when it came down to with your relationship with you know, with my girl over here and her husband on how you paid him and still he still won't now stand in checks and shit. Mama, that wasn't really cool. But, you know, 
I like the fact that you're bringing something else. You are a housewife. You're still a wife. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got the documents with the stamp on them yet. So you're still a wife, but you're being respectful with it. You're not putting it out there that you're doing this and that and this. You're taking care of your sons. Man, Phaedra, I adore you. I really, really do. I like your sense of style. Hell yeah, you can go get more ass put on. You can go and get tummy tucks or whatever. You can do all that. You can afford to do that. You're a scholar. You're a conqueror. You're all that. Man, yeah. Um, Bravo, we're on to something. She can have a spinoff on her show thing. Because I'm certain after a while, when her husband do get home, and I'm certain, you know, she's going to drop him off a little piece of pussy. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to go where it's safe at. He know what she will and won't do. So, yeah, he's going to go back and hit it. He's going to go see his sons, and they're going to find themselves back in the bed together. I believe that because he's a fine-ass motherfucker, and we all know it. She know where he been for the last eight years. So, then therefore, you know, let me have this fun and all this. Let me do all this right here. But my husband eventually going to come back because she loves him. So let's just be honest about it. You know what I mean? So do I see her getting back with her husband eventually? I see that. But I also see her keeping going on with the show. Because the direction that you're going, the show needs that. They, the show needs to show not only are black women very smart, um, business minded, um, but we also take care of our kids. And we're also doing things in our communities and such. And I love that about you. So, yes, on, on that note, you, yeah, the show needs you. Now, Cynthia, yes, yes, yes. Keep Cynthia on the show because she's bringing some style and some flavor. Um, she's like a wild card. One minute she could be this. The next minute she could be that. She's she's. She loves and loves hard. She really wants her thing to work with her husband. Now, um, Peter, dude, I mean, you're doing the most this. But Cynthia, hey, we all the same age group. You know what I'm saying? We all the same age group. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is, you know. But, you know, you love him. You, we, you know, we can all look at him and tell that he get down with the get down. You know what I'm saying? We can already tell that he is, yeah, is one of them. You're going to get what you need when you need it, you know. But... You know, at what point do we say, you know what, I'm not going to allow you to do me this way anymore? You know what I'm saying? At what point do we say, you know what, motherfucker, I really love you, but you're showing out and you're making me look bad as a woman. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just accepting this shit that you're doing to me. You know what I mean? Everybody see it. See, because once you become to get on a show and everybody know your name and everybody see you, then everybody puts you on a certain pedestal and stuff like that. And so, you know... I just, I just, you know, I don't like that. But I like the fact that, hell, you was up in there with your motherfucking husband. Leon walked in with his daughter like, uh-oh, okay, you know what, masseuse, what's happening? I just hate the fact that your husband is the way that he is, you know. And one thing about it, you and I both know, you can't change these motherfuckers. You know, and after a certain age, they don't change, mama. They, don't, they, they, they just don't. It's like either you're going to put up with it or deal with it or you're going to move on. Or you're going to get it to the point to where it's, okay, he doing himself and I'm doing me. You doing you and I'm doing me. That ain't always cool because it's taking you away from what's really meant for you. I realize that now, but I'm battling that right now too, mama. Look, let me need a knee because I'm going through the same motherfucking thing. Only thing is there's no marriage or nothing. But, you know, the same thing applies with me too is the fact that I know what's right for me and I know what I want. But a lot of times you get what you've given. And, you know, there was times when I guess I wasn't always right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm reaping what I sow with it. Now, until I completely eradicate and get rid of the bullshit, then therefore God will give me what I truly deserve. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard when you're in the middle of it, when you're going through the trenches of it. It's like, but I love him and I love the way he make me feel and I love this and it's safe. You feel it's safe even though it's not really safe because you can't say, you can't say it's safe when they out there doing the most. Mama, I've been there. I'm one of the, I'm on the same shit you all. I feel the same way. I love real hard when it come down to my friends. All that kinds of stuff. Mama, and I just, I just like your get down. You know, you're like a calming. You're like that girlfriend that wears, you know, everybody can go over there and we can bring out the carafe and we can sit around and have some drinks and we can just sit up and just chit chat on, 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 chit -chat on the patio and just talk about it, you know. So I think you bring that to the show. You bring a grounding. Like you're more grounded, you know, and I like that. I like your eyewear line. Um, I just, yeah, they need to keep you on the show. 
Uh, 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 yeah, because you bring in a different element to the show. Fashion, style, um, a woman of a particular age that respects her body and looks good and gave up on yourself. Girl, you look good. Regardless to the fact of what this motherfucker right here got going on, she, you still on 10, okay? And that girl... So, anyway, if I missed anybody on this motherfucker, my, my apologies. I didn't mean to. Um, but I wanted to give my spin on the season, on the way I took it and the things that I saw on the show. And some of my predictions on what I would hope to see um, on the show. I would like to see some new, some different people on there. Now, once you get rid of those ones right there, get rid of that three, Nene, Kenya, and Portia, and bring in three more, but we're going to keep Sheree, we're going to keep uh, um, Cynthia, we're going to keep um, Phaedra, and we damn sure are going to keep Kim, okay? That's that's that, that's what we're working with right there, and we need us a couple of new ones, you know what I'm saying, to bring some new thing to the show. So, on that note, simply my spin, if I forgot somebody, my bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to, you know what I'm saying, I just... I. My bad, you know. The rest of them, I don't know. They just extras on the show to me, you know. So, if I miss them, I guess I just missed them. My bad. Anyway, I'm out. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy spring. I love you. Bye.